detailing this Fiat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the rims. Add a little water. Cool it down. So I'm gonna add a little solution here to clean the tires. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our rim cleaner. So I'm gonna spray this on liberally. And we're gonna take our Speedmaster Daytona wheel brush and start scrubbing inside here. Making sure to get all the way inside. It's a really small rim, so it's not too bad. Let me take our soft wheel brush. Go ahead and agitate the exterior of the rim. Getting around the lug nuts. At this point, I want to make sure we get the brake calipers. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse it all off. There you have it. It's clean. So now we're going to go ahead and soak the car down. I'm going to sit it with water just to rinse off any loose debris you have on the vehicle before we start soaking it. And then now, using our chemical guys' foam cannon, we're going to go ahead and Put the vehicle down. We're using the honeydew snow foam from Chemical Guys. Uh, I really like this soap. Great smelling. Works really good. But this is a lot of lather and suds, as you can see. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and soak that down and then start washing it. And now we're gonna start soaping it from top to bottom. We want to start on the top so we don't get any of that road dirt and grime up on the car which could create a lot of webbing, scratches, a lot of impurities in the paint that'll take away from it shine, luster, reflection, especially on black cars. You really want to wash on the top and then work your way down. So we're going to go ahead and get this one washed up. So now we're going to go ahead and put it down. Now until we get it all shot down, what we're going to do is we have our uh, light gray clay. This is a light duty clay. And we're going to go ahead and use it while it's wet and just clay bar the surface to take out any fine contaminants. Um, some people use a detailing spray to do this. I just find it that if you use a detailing spray, it's just more expensive. Um, when the car is washed off and clean, you can just clay the vehicle with water. Um, of course, when it's cool. And uh, that's a... That supplies adequate lubrication for you to just go ahead and clay bar the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and clay bar this. And now that we got the vehicle clay barred, what I normally do after that is go on and just touch up, you know, the cracks and crevices, uh, little areas that weren't able to, that didn't get clean. So I, what I go ahead and do is I put my cleaner on there and I go with my gun, gun cleaning brush. Go ahead and clean around all these extra edges just to make sure that when a customer picks this up, this thing is going to pop. 
So we just lightly scrub around all the cracks and crevices. And then we do this around the entire vehicle. Now that we got it washed, clayed, and touched up, we're gonna go ahead and spray our uh, UV protectant on this car. Um, it's got almost like a liquid wax, but it has drying agents to help us dry the vehicle, as well as it offers a layer of protection. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this on the car. I'm gonna come over here and start drying it off. So now we're gonna go ahead and wax this car with our Chemical Guys 5050 Pure Conquest Paste Wax. Um, this wax is really good, has a lot of reflective properties. Uh, I really like this wax. So we're gonna go ahead and wax this with on this week. So we're gonna go ahead and wax it straight back and forth. Okay, so now we're going to leather condition the seat. So what we're using today is Chemical Guys Vintage Leather Serum. So I'm going to apply some here on the seat, and then we're going to condition the leather by hand. So what we're going to actually do is rub this in with our hand. Then it'll get in all the all the cracks and crevices. The heat from your hand will actually emulsify the leather conditioner. Let it get in all the, the cracks and crevices. And there we go. We got it all. So then, we're detailing the car. I'm gonna go ahead and wax up this dash piece. Uh, this is, this is a painted piece, so we're going to go ahead and wax this up over here. And then like with the rest of the car, I'm going to take it right back off. So let me get that shine and luster going on here. Show you all our pieces. There you have that. And then we're gonna go ahead and dress the tire. Um, I like to dress the tire with a tire sponge like this. And we just go right around the tire. As such, looks good. The tire dressing that I use is a water-based tire dressing. I used to use silicone, but there's a lot of slinging. Um, and then the tires have a brown film buildup on it that you actually have to scrub off with a wire brush and a degreaser. It really gets cumbersome, tiresome. Um, also, it inhibits the shine of the tire. So I use a water-based dressing, whereas it, you know, it still lasts a week, week and a half. Good shine, just like the silicone. It's just, um, you know, the, the tire dressing will wash off. And then upon the next application, there's nothing really to strip off the tire, so you still get that, that gloss. So here's our finished product. Here we go 
guys. Here's the Fiat, finished product.